Today we're working on a 2014 Range Rover Sport that's owned here by Atlantic British. Um, we're actually going to be replacing the front decals, the extruded decals from the hood and from the trunk lid. As you can see, they, are, they don't actually delaminate, they actually lose their colour. They're bonded on by a double-sided sticky tape. Um, I have everybody has their own kind of removal practices for these in the auto industry. Mine is with a heat gun, gently heating up the letters as you go. I already removed one, the letter R from here. It does tend to leave a bit of glue on there, so afterwards I use a bit of goo gun or just gently rub it with a bit of warm water or even your thumb and the glue does come off. After removing all the decals, I'm going to wipe it down and make sure it's nice and clean. Probably even, uh, sorry, polish the front of the hood area so we get a nice clean surface to bond on the new decals to the body of the vehicle. Um, we have here, uh, this is my own tool, blue in colour. Once I've heated, I will gently push underneath. You can actually see the E is actually almost loose at this point. When it's heated up it'll just peel right off with the shirt, well dull plastic edge of the uh, spatula tool. Um, we sell the toolkit here at Atlantic British. It comes in different sizes. It is for removing mold, uh, mouldings and fasteners. This one here is exactly the same as what I have. These are great for removing door panels. Another one here. This is good to work against glass windows and generally a good hook tool. These are the decals we're putting on the vehicle. This one, this set is for the front, this set is for the rear. Don't ask me why, they look just the same to me, but I'm sure there's uh, a reason. So I'm gonna start by heating up the hood. You can use a hairdryer if you need to. It's probably less invasive. It does the same job. It's always good to do it on a hot day. Unfortunately, we don't have a hot day here in New England. We've got snow on the ground, but a nice warm warehouse. So gentle heat, not too close to the car. Just enough to warm up the body. I like to keep the heat gun moving and not direct the heat in one place for too long. So not to burn the paint or any or cause any other damage. I'm actually going to try and push it off now. Oh, there it's coming. There it goes. Just carry on the whole procedure for the same. As you can see, it leaves a gluey residue behind, but not the end of the world. It can be removed quite easily. You see the paint starting to bubble, you bubble, you're using too much heat. Keep a safe distance. I keep checking it with my hand just to make sure.
I'm going to get much cleaner than that. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the front of the hood clean. I polished it once I got the glue off um, with a medium uh, coarse polish. Uh, I felt it was probably just a little aggressive, so I went over it with actually a color sensitive uh, to green polish made by Turtle Wax, and that actually brought the color back somewhat in line with the rest of the car and got rid of the swirls. So now I'm going to try and <laughs> apply the decal, the range to the front of the vehicle. There is a piece of paper you pull off the back. I actually pulled it off of the, this piece. Um, you pull it off and then hopefully we can line it up. on now. It does have a wave to it. It's meant to. They come on the card. As you can see, the rover sways up a bit at the end to take the body line of the car. I think it looks all right. I'm quite happy with that. So. I'm quite happy with how, how the Range Rover emblem came out on the vehicle. It looks good. Um, it's the same procedure exactly for the rear of the vehicle. Um, the hardest bit of the work is definitely removing of the glue. It takes some uh, time. A nice uh, solvent for that, which won't harm the paint. And a good polish before you apply the new letters. Um, the lettering, whether the decal being Range Rover, Land Rover, Discovery 1, 2, 3, LR4, LR3 of course, and New Discovery, you can order right here through us if you like, um, and talk to any of our professional salesmen out front. Um, if we don't have it in stock, we can get it in stock and uh, available for you. Again, the tool makes it even easier. We have this kit in stock, not too sure what the pricing is, but I know we always keep it in stock. And a good strong hairdryer, or if you're a shop of course, you may have access to a heat gun. Um, there's not much else to it. So feel free to call any of our sales team, 1-800-233-2210.